You believe that you've reached your conclusions rationally. That matters to you. So here's the uncomfortable truth. When you're afraid, not startled, not momentarily worried, but repeatedly and deliberately frightened, your brain changes how it processes information. The amygdala is the part of the brain that detects threat. It's evolved to keep you alive. When it's highly activated, it does two crucial things. It amplifies fear and it suppresses the prefrontal cortex, the part of the brain responsible for critical thinking, long-term planning and weighing evidence. That is an ideology, that's neuroscience. Now hold this fact in your mind. People exposed repeatedly to fear-based messaging become more reactive, less analytical and more loyal to whoever claims to offer protection, even when the solution contradicts their own material interests. This effect is strongest when the threat is vague, constant and personalised. They're coming, you're being replaced, your way of life is under attack. Ask yourself something honestly and not defensively. Why do the messages aimed at you focus so relentlessly on danger, invasion, collapse, betrayal? Why are they repeated daily across headlines, videos, slogans and social feeds? Because the people sending them understand this. A frightened brain doesn't ask for spreadsheets. It asks for certainty and certainty feels like strength. Here is the contradiction you must face. You see yourself as independent minded, yet your emotional responses are being shaped by techniques that bypass reasoning entirely. If these messages were truly about budgets, outcomes or efficiency, they would talk in detail about trade-offs, numbers and consequences. They don't. They talk about enemies. Because once your amygdala is engaged, you stop asking, does that add up? And you start asking, who's on my side? That's not weakness. It's human biology being exploited. The manipulation isn't that you were given false information. The manipulation is that you were kept afraid long enough that you stopped demanding real explanations. And the moment you realise that, truly realise that, fear loses its grip because a calm brain is much harder to control.